Hey everybody, Asian action actor here with another movie review and today we are reviewing the 2019 Child's Play movie. I gotta say the year before that because there's been a, a ton of Child's Play movies over the years since like I believe the, the 80s, right? Um, I, I think the first Child's Play movie came out sometime in like the 80s, maybe the late 70s, I don't know. And that actually very much informs my history with the character. I was never much of a big fan of Chucky, you know? Um, I'm a huge fan of horror movies. Love them. I love like Halloween, Friday the 13th, Nightmare, Nightmare on Elm Street, Street I mean. My favorite horror, horror movie is Exorcist. But I, I just, I don't know, man. I, I never got the appeal of Chucky. I mean, he's okay, but I was never a big fan of this thing. So, but I was curious. I, I wanted to give this new one a chance, so I saw it. This movie's terrible. Absolutely terrible, and I will explain why. So, one of the things I like, though, about this movie is that their attempt to update the whole Chucky mythology. So, in the original one, as far as I can tell, because I, 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 I didn't really watch the original movies. I did, I did a bit of research about the movies uh, for this review and before I watched you know, the new one, just to get some context. Apparently, Chucky was um, he sort of like Annabelle. He's a possessed toy or doll, you know. He's possessed by the spirit of the serial killer. In this version, um, he's a toy that, um, that is just malfunctioning, right? Oh, God. I'm just remembering this movie that's so goddamn bad. Let's just say that I like that they're they're playing with the horrors of the 21st century smart home. Because Chucky is not just a toy. He's a toy that you can plug in to your entire home system and it can control everything. It can wirelessly control your computer, your car, your... Maybe not your car, just remember it controlling... No, it does. It does control the car at one point. Like your lights, everything, you know, like everything that we know that can be controlled by Bluetooth and thus makes a smart home, right? And because of this, he has a lot of powers that the original Chucky doll doesn't have because he can like manipulate cars, lawnmowers and things like that, uh, drones. And because of this, and this is the other high point of the movie, there are a bunch of very creative kills, but oh my God, the overall execution is just terrible. And the primary reason is the story sucks ass. The characters are horrible. It has a good hook with, uh, with the whole technology thing, which I love, but then everything else is just bad. It just doesn't make sense. So Chucky's malfunctioning because he's, um, yeah, it's from Vietnam. So the, the buddy dolls, which Chucky is one of, are assembled in this sweatshop in Vietnam. And this one guy who is assembling this very specific Chucky doll is like he's going through some tough times and his boss just sees that he's being lazy but you know he's actually just being depressed because he's on tough times right so he's moving slower than usual his eye his eyes are glazed over things like that so his boss gives him a tough time and just tells him to finish this one doll he's working on and then he's out of here and just laughably and this is like within the first Two or three minutes of the movie, man. Laughably, right in front of everybody. I know it's supposed to be a sweatshop where everyone's sad and depressed and things like that. But in front of everyone, the dude just... Because, like, one of the things you got to do to uh, finish a buddy doll is to program it, right? Because it's a super high-tech toy. So the buddy doll is connected to a computer where the dude can, like, program it. He turns off all the safety parameters... But that doesn't make sense. Like, sure, there are safety parameters, but why would the doll be programmed with, have the option to have violence in it in the first place? The point is, it's exactly like that, that Child's Play parody in The Simpsons with Krusty. And that's one of my favorite Simpsons Halloween shorts, by the way. That one's brilliant. This is a serious version of that, and it's terrible. Literally... The dude flips the evil switch. Remember, like, if you've seen it, I hope you've seen it. 
I think it was Treehouse of Horror 3 where this happens. One of the best ever. Watch it if you haven't. The buddy doll literally has an evil switch. A depressed Vietnamese guy who just lost his job turns off all the safety parameters, which literally equates to flipping the evil switch. Why do these things have an evil switch? Gadgets don't work like that. If you don't put it in there, it's not going to be there. They're just empty shells, whether software or hardware. The fact that it can, it can learn and have violence and things like that meant it was put there. But then it's just firewalled by a safety precaution that you can turn apparently on and off whenever. The doll from second one is creepy as fuck. So I would have just thrown that thing away. I like played with it for maybe an hour tops and thrown it away because that thing is creepy as hell, man. It's like another thing I got to apologize for. I don't usually swear in my, my movie reviews or YouTube videos in general. I try to make them accessible to as many people as possible. I do swear a lot in my Twitch channel. It's, it's more mature, but man, just remembering this movie is not a good time for me. It's fun doing movie reviews, and that's why I do them. But this, recalling this movie, man, it's not, not great. But this kid, for whatever reason, keeps him around for weeks and bonds with him, and it becomes his best friend. Why? It's a creepy-ass broken doll. And the movie makes it super apparent. Kid's got brain damage, I tell you. He's a good actor, by the way. Um, what's his name? Gabriel Bateman plays the kid. I think he's a good actor, but... God damn, your character is terrible, kid. Not your fault. It's just director and screenwriter. I, maybe the producer. I'm putting it all of them. We're about half hour, a half hour into the movie. Right? And the movie just gets even more terrible as it goes along. So I won't really bother going through the rest of the story. Um, but yeah, they kill Chuck. They kill Chucky in the end. Um, they do a sort of Goonies thing where the kids team up and kill them and things like that. Um, but the, the deeper the story, uh, the movie does go, they lean more into Chucky's new powers in this version because he is like, um, he is like this Google device that can control any other compatible like devices. Yeah. Um, like, you know, in the smart home era. So because of this, there are some very creative kills throughout the movie. So that's going to please uh, slasher fans and things like that. Fans of Saw and you know, so on. But man, this movie is just terrible. Keeps the toy. Keeps the creepy ass broken doll that doesn't work. Characters are poorly written. The story is terrible. There are some nice kills. I like the technology angle. And I like the creative kills because of the technology angle. But man, the movie is just bad. I would not recommend this to anyone, even if you are a huge Chucky fan. Two out of ten. Why isn't it a one? I don't give zeros. My scale is one to ten, personally. It's a two because I like the technology angle. And there are some creative kills um, in the latter half of the movie. But the rest of it, ugh, oh my god. Do not see this movie. Do not waste your time if it comes on Netflix. Watch something else. Um, the, the Chucky franchise is a very cult classic franchise. So I suppose some of the older movies are good. I've never seen them, so I can't say. I'll watch them instead of this one, all right? Stay away from this one. Oh, one last thing. Mark Hamill voices Chucky, does a good job, because he's Mark freaking Hamill. He's like one of my favorite voice actors of all time. He's like the Joker. He's like one of the most classic Jokers ever, yeah? Does a good job. He sings the theme song, you are my buddy, or however it goes. It's really creepy and it does it very well. Um, he doesn't use a Joker voice on Chucky, which is great because it would have, might have ruined that voice for me just because of how bad this movie was. But yeah, stay away from this movie. Even if Mark Hamill is Chucky in this one, please. Two out of 10, I warned you. <laughs> so yeah, even though the movie was terrible, I thank you very much for making it all the way here and hanging out with me, Asian Action Actor. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, goodbye. Have a good one. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.